Will Malik Hooper is a quintessential, no holds barred, reared back Appalachian singer. It's a very soulful singing style and soul piercing, particularly Wilma Lee's gospel repertoire. It just, it really drips with emotion. I mean, it just is so penetrating. This old house is getting shaky. This old house is getting old. This old house that's in the rain. This old house that's in the cold. Wilma Lee Cooper was born in 1921 in Valleyhead in Randolph County and grew up performing with her parents and sisters in the regionally popular Leary Family Gospel Group. We sung in every church in Elkins. That was near our home. Everything but the Catholic Church, we didn't sing it out. When you think the world can never hold you down. Cooper continues to recuperate from a stroke in 2001, but the 87-year-old remains passionate about her music. For being such a petite woman, you had a powerful, powerful voice, didn't you? Yes. I was blessed with a strong voice. Make me that special, shiny light on me. Make me that special. Wilma Lee married the gospel group's fiddler, Dale Stoney Cooper, in 1939. Together they formed their own group, the Clinch Mountain Clan performing a mix of country, bluegrass, and mountain music. The Coopers were a mainstay for a decade on the Wheeling Jamboree and the Grand Old Opry, and established themselves as one of country music's most popular duos. Talk to us about performing at the Grand Old Opry. It was a top country show in the country. We were working WRVA Richmond, Virginia. They booked a lot of the Grand Ole Opry talent. When they did, they always wanted to ask on their show. Make me special. Shine your light on me. In 1974, the Smithsonian Institution honored Wilma Lee Cooper as the First Lady of Bluegrass. Shine your light on me. Stoney Cooper died in 1977 but Wilma Lee continued to perform until 2001.